I would like to kind of get into Roy Hargrove mm -hmm. because you had you formed a band with him in the early '90s. Well, you guys formed a band with uh, Christian McBride, yeah. Eddie Green. So, how did that come about, and uh, what was it like? Who, who so, put you guys together? George Green wanted to. George Green wanted to. The great the the, the the guy that ran festival productions, you know, JVC Jazz Festivals and Cools and all that stuff. The great uh, impresario wanted to put together. Uh, um, an all-star band around Roy Harvard. He, he loved Roy. And there was this young guy coming up named Nicholas Payton. Now, I, me and Nick already knew each other. And George's idea was to put Nicholas Payton, was to put Roy's band together and have Nicholas as a guest. Uh, and Roy's manager was like, uh, no. <laughs> he, he said, Roy, he said Roy, would, Roy would love it because he and Nick are friends. Yeah. But I'm not doing that to Roy's career letting somebody else come and just play trumpet all over all over his band you know yeah. to, you know let that guy build his own career up. and as a manager that's his job right so he said but i have another idea since you want roy so bad roy's at the center of the scene with all these great young musicians playing around new york why don't you let me put together an all-star band of these guys so it's roy's quintet so it's roy antonio hart who played saxophone with roy at the time and, and the rhythm section was Greg Hutchinson on drums, Chris McBride on bass, and either Benny Green or Jeff Keys on piano because they both played with Roy. You guys were called the Jazz, uh, the Jazz future, Futures, right? Well, it, it was going to become that, right? And so that's Roy's quintet. And then he said, and, Roy, and the guy that plays guitar with Mark sometimes with Roy is this guy, Mark Whitfield. George knew me, so all right, so fine. And he said, and, and, and there's another trumpet player who's got a record out on Columbia, a guy named Marlon Jordan. And his saxophone player is Tim Warfield. Why don't you put all of them together? You have two trumpets, two saxophones, bass, drums, and piano, and guitar. And, and we'll call that the jazz futures, like the future of jazz. These are the new young lions. And they went for it. And then at the last minute, Greg Hutchinson, who was playing drums with Betty Carter, had a tour with Betty and wouldn't miss it. And so they got Carl Allen, the great Carl Allen, who wasn't, who, who was not, he, he, was, he was not new on the scene, but he, but he certainly knew everybody. Uh, to play drums with us, and that became the Jazz Futures, and that's what really launched our careers. Like that, that we spent that summer, the summer of '91, opening for Miles Davis, Winter Barsalas, and the Neville Brothers. We did that. We did that for like seven weeks, and wow. so jazz fans, the jazz industry promoters, concert, you know, they got to see us, you know, shining bright. Uh, um, and it was, we were hilarious, man. We were just a bunch of kids, you know, leading the band. You we told me you guys were kind of competitive, weren't you? Oh, for sure. You, you told me sort about, you would try to, um, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, you should see some of the clothes we have on. Yeah, about the, the clothes yeah, we're, you were wearing. We tried to outdress you. We had the best suits. <laughs> yeah, like, so, like sometimes, you know, and sometimes you could go wrong. You know, like I, you know, like I, ever, <laughs> like I look back at those pictures and Marlon Jordan was, he had this bright pink uh, coat, you know, suit jacket. It, we, he thought it was, we, we all thought it was real clean at the time, but looking back going, oh, what the heck? <laughs> and, I, and, and I bought these two suits. One, it, it, was, it, was, it was like light blue and, and like bright yellow silk. And so that, you know, I'm just like, oh God, no, no. I, got, I might've thought I won that night, but I definitely lose in history. <laughs> it was the 90s, man, it was the 90s. That's right. And, 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 and as long as it said Versace on it, we didn't care. It said Versace, I was like, I'm fine. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I blame Versace for all that. Cool, man. <laughs>